I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Kung bago ka palang sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa graphing a linear equation using table of values. To graph a linear equation using table of values, so we need to follow these steps. First, find three ordered pairs that satisfy the equation. Again, we need to find three ordered pairs that satisfy the equation. Second, plot the points. So, yung mahanap natin tatlong ordered pairs na magsasatisfy sa equation, ito yung ipaplot natin sa Cartesian coordinate plane. And the last step would be Draw a line through the points. Kailangan ang mabubuo natin ay straight line. So, there will be an assigned values for x. So, therefore, given yung values ng x natin. Preferably, integers for ease in computation. Find the corresponding y value for each and write the numbers in a table of values. So, let's have an example. First, graph 2x plus y equals to negative 4 using table of values. So, we have here a table of values and then yung ating assigned values of x are negative 2, 0, 1. Then, nahanapin natin yung corresponding values of y para makabuo tayo ng tatlong ordered pair. So, let's start with x negative 2. So, when x is negative 2, so what would be the value of y? So, we're going to use our equation 2x plus y equals to negative 4. And then, we just substitute the value of x negative 2. So, it will become 2 times negative 2 plus y equals to negative 4. So, pinalta lang natin yung x ng value na negative 2. And then, multiply. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus y equals to negative 4. And then, get the additive inverse of negative 4. So, ililipat natin siya sa kabila. It will become y equals to negative 4 plus 4. So, negative 4 plus 4 or 4 minus 4, y is 0. So, therefore, when x is negative 2, our y is 0. So, ilalagay natin siya sa table of values. So, meron na tayong first ordered pair. So, we will do the same process when x is 0. So, we are going to use the same equation, 2x plus y equals to negative 4. And then, we just substitute the value of x as 0. So, 2 times 0 plus y equals to negative 4. Then, 2 times 0 is 0 na. Okay? So, we just write y equals to negative 4. Therefore, when x is 0, your y is negative 4. So, we have our second ordered pair. And for the last ordered pair, when x is 1, then 2x plus y equals to negative 4. So, we just substitute x as 1. So, therefore, 2 times 1 plus y equals to negative 4. So, 2 times 1 is 2 plus y equals to negative 4. So, we just get the additive inverse of 2. Ililipat natin sa, sa right side. It will become negative 4 minus 2. Then, you just add like sign, add then copy the sign. So, 4 plus 2 is 6. So, it will become negative 6. So, when x is 1, your y is negative 6. So, nakompleto na natin yung table of values. So, it's our time to graph each ordered pair. So, therefore, the three ordered pairs are negative 2, 0, 0, negative 4, and 1, negative 6. So, iisa-isahin natin ang pagpaplat ng point sa Cartesian thing. So, let's start with negative 2, 0. So, nasan ba dito ang negative 2, 0? So, yun po yung negative 2, 0. It lies on the x-axis. Since y is 0, so that is negative 2, 0. Next, 0, negative 4. Nasaan po yung 0, negative 4? So, ayun yung 0, negative 4. It lies on the y-axis. 
And lastly, 1, negative 6. Okay, so that is 1, negative 6 on the Q, 4 or 4th quadrant. Then last step, draw a line that passes through the 3 points. So therefore, that will be the graph of the line 2x plus y equals negative 4. Okay, so next example, graph 2x minus 3y equals to 6. So we have table of values. Again, yung values ng x po natin ay nag iba, -iba depende po sa given. Our x values are negative 3, 0, 3. So let's start with when, when x is negative 3, we're going to use the equation 2x minus 3y equals to 6. So we just substitute negative 3 sa ating x, so it will become 2 times negative 3 minus 3y equals to 6. Then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 3y equals to 6. And then we just get the additive inverse of negative 6, ililipat natin sa right side, it will become negative 3y equals to 6 plus 6. Then, negative 3y equals to 6 plus 6 is 12. Then last step would be divide by negative 3 or we just apply the MPE. Multiplication property of equality, so negative 3, so 12 divides negative 3 is negative 4. So therefore, when x is negative 3, our y value is negative 4. So we just write it on the table of values. For our next ordered pair, when x is 0, so we have our equation 2x minus 3y equals to 6. And then 2 times 0 minus 3y equals to 6. Pinaltan lang natin yung x ng 0. And then 2 times 0 is 0. Therefore, negative 3y equals to 6. So, ni bring down lang natin yung negative 3y equals to 6. Next, MPE. So, we just divide it by negative 3. So, 6 divides negative 3 is negative 2. So, when x is 0, therefore, our y value is negative 2. So, for our last value of x, so when x is 3, 2x minus 3y equals to 6. So, 2 times 3 minus 3y equals to 6. So, 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3y equals to 6. So, we have negative 3y equals to 6. Then, the additive inverse of positive 6 is negative 6. So, negative 3y equals to 6 minus 6 is 0. So, therefore, y is 0. So, when x is 3, y is 0. So, nabuo na natin yung table of values. So, pwede na natin i-plot yung mga points. The three ordered pairs are negative 3, negative 4, 0, negative 2, and 3, 0. So, let's start with negative 3, negative 4. So, nandun siya sa my third quadrant. Kasi parehas negative. So, that is negative 3, negative 4. Next, 0, negative 2 on our vertical axis. And then lastly, you have 3, 0. And then, since na plata natin yung 3 points, so draw a line. So that will be the graph of the given equation 2x minus 3y equals to 6. So ganun lamang po kasimple kapag nag-graph tayo using table of values. So that's it for our lesson today. So I hope that you learn something about graphing a linear equations using a table of values. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell. And see you on our next video. God bless us all.